I said, when it's time to go to bed, we should go to bed together. But what if he's not sleepy? I don't care. When it's time for bed, it's time for bed. I was listening to the radio, and it was talking about how women are emasculating men. Depriving a man of his male role or identity. See, this is another reason why I'm not married. Check it out. Hey, welcome back from commercial. This is WKUZP. We got somebody in the studio, a young lady. Hey, why don't you have a seat right there and tell the listeners what you just said off the air. I said, when it's time to go to bed, we should go to bed together. But what if he's not sleepy? I don't care. When it's time for bed, it's time for bed. So what you're saying is, it doesn't matter if he's sleepy or not. That's right. You don't make a grown man go to bed. If he wants to be with me, he'll go to bed when I go to bed. It's good for the relationship. Am I going to have to call the police on you? Because you're going to have to marry a 12-year-old. Because ain't no grown man going to go to bed just because you said so. Want to bet? <laughs> Y'all heard it for yourselves. <laughs> she was dead serious. I could hear it in her voice. The funny part was, she wasn't married. Now my question is, how could it be good for the relationship? Everybody's been through that same thing when they were younger. Remember when you wanted to stay up late, but your mother made you go to bed? Look, Peter. Ma'am, turn that video game off. It's time for you to go to bed. Oh, man. I'll be glad when I get grown. I'm gonna move out on my own. I can stay up as long as I want to. What you say? Nothing. The coolest thing about being a kid and waiting to grow up so you can move out on your own is there was always that light at the end of the tunnel. That light that someday you can grow up, move out on your own, and do whatever you want to. Now I'm trying to imagine after becoming grown and going to bed whenever I want to, then getting married to a woman who's going to tell me when to go to bed. With her logic being, it's good for the relationship. How could it possibly be good for the relationship if he's not ready to go to bed? Now I see one or two things happening here. Either he's going to go to bed just because he wants to shut her up while lying there resenting her, or he's going to stand his ground and tell her, I'm not going to bed. Now, the average woman who thinks like this one does, she gonna stand her ground. And that's when the fight's gonna start. Go to bed. No. Go to bed. No. Go to bed. No. Now, how can that be good for the relationship? Ladies, this is the first step towards divorce. No grown man wants to be told when to go to bed. The funniest thing in the world to me would be to call my homie around 9.55 p.m. and the conversation go like this. Hey, Robert, what's up, man? We playing ball at the park tomorrow. You coming? Oh, hey, I'm... I know you're not Hold on, man. Home. My wife called me. Yeah. It's almost 10 o'clock. Get off that phone and get in here and get in this bed. Hey, hey, check it, Raul, man. I got to go, man. My wife says it's almost 10 o'clock. I got to get off the phone. I got to go to bed, man. I'll talk to you later, all right? Come on. <laughs> Hurry up. I'm coming. <laughs> cool, man, Raul. What's up? Yo, D. Yo, man, check this out. I huh? just called Dom, right? Yo, man. He had to get off the phone because it's 10 o'clock because his wife said he got to go to bed. <laughs>